open the folder open obs 64 bit grab this right click copy it now we've got one camera on the left wheel at the front and we've got one camera on the rear the more pixels you use the more quality it is this camera app will change your Assetto replays forever. It's quite simply an OBS plugin. So yes, you do need OBS and yes, you do need a computer because you need a computer to run OBS and you need a computer to run Assetto Corsa. So it is PC only. This game is PC only. So don't ask a question. Is it on console? So what we're going to do is I'm going to leave the description down in the description. Wait, stop. If you've never used OBS before, this isn't a tutorial for OBS, but I will show you a quick, easy step of how to set up OBS, and it's really easy to do for your replays, all right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to move OBS up here. It might look a little bit weird, like looking through one window to another window to another window, but it's all right. I'm going to show you real quick of how to set it up, all right? So without further ado, let's go. What you guys need to do is add a scene, which is going to be your gameplay. So for instance, you just go on to display capture, you click that and then you select which display you're using we have three we have this one on the auto wide because that's what we play on so this is called game you can deselect it and select it that's what you need first of all and then you need to go down into the description and download the obs plugin it's basically in my discord i'm going to show you real quickly where to download it what you guys need to do is head on over to boosted scroll all the way down and tc boosted downloads all the downloads and click obs plugin that is it for downloading all right this is what you guys need to do when you have downloaded it and it'll be in your downloads folder just like so what you guys need to do is unpack this into a folder open the folder open obs 64 bit grab this right click copy it or cut it whichever you want to do and then head to your c drive or your local drive find where obs is installed mine is in uh, file programs head down to tc obs so click obs click plugins click 64 and just paste this inside there i'm going to do it just for this video i can't actually do it because i'm i'm recording this so want me to do it but obviously don't have obs open when you're trying to copy that file into there now we need to load up on a set of course and i'll show you exactly what you guys need to do on a set of course to make your replays look 10 times better let's go okay guys once you're in the game you need to use this app here this is called camera editor and what it will do is you see these cameras on the top um it's gonna be over here this one here this is obviously in this part here so what you need to do is click on the camera it is which is gonna be i think this one okay so this camera here is this one here so if you want to edit this camera up and down and stuff like that so for instance we put it down all the way to say there and then you guys will see it there all right and then to change this camera just select properties and head down to here and then just choose another camera so for instance we want to choose a spoiler camera which i love using you can just press ok and then obviously now that is on the rear of the car right so this camera here you can then resize it all right so what you need to do again so if you want it to be half the size of your screen so what you want to do is go to here and then probably change it to like 1920 by 1080 and then it'll make it wider so then you can have it more of a, like a, a bigger size and more quality i guess because the more pixels you use the more quality it is so that's more pixels the wider the bigger it is and basically you can do this for any of the cameras just select it and then go properties and then if you want like the overhead view which is this one you can do the same thing uh this camera and i think you have a basic rear view camera and then we have the hood which is that camera um you can add multiple of these by the way so if you for instance wanted to have one camera say on the wheel i'm going to do this by a thousand by a thousand okay and have it in the top right corner like so and then add another one which is on the plus sign here and a set of course just call this rear view okay and then have this on the rear view of the car and then do it by a thousand by a thousand that's okay and then there you go now you have two cameras the rear facing camera and the wheel camera so obviously when you 
do your cameras you can then just record basically this is like a real handy way of like doing the game because then like you have multiple different camera angles and it looks really cool like when you're chasing people in a game um or for instance you're inside the car and you know you want to see behind you or around you you can pretty much do that just i'm on controller right don't judge but yeah basically you can just have the cameras from every angle whichever angle you want all you've got to do is just edit the camera basically uh, again it's real simple i'll show you one more time just head on over to the camera app which is just type in cam editor and then obviously choose the photo which correlates to one with obs so it's going to be this one so for instance you can turn left power pan right or pan left you can go scrolling left and right you can also pitch up and down go up and down so for instance you know i don't know why you want this but i mean each to their own you know you could have like a gopro looking from you know it's like more like a gopro kind of style uh you can go all the way right so you could have it on the side of the car if you really wanted you know so down and down like looking at the back wheel so like a gopro on the side i guess it just, it just reminds me it's just like a gopro vibe really so you know and i'll probably just go more left or more right sorry so it's like stuck on the side of the car you know so on this camera here oops go down i want to go down a little bit more so kind of see more of the car and then go probably left a tad so it's not clipping but yeah as you see now down there it's changed that camera um you can save you can save the camera and obviously just change your view once you've finished back to whatever you was doing so now we've got one camera on the left wheel at the front and we've got one camera on the rear right so it kind of just looks cool so like when people and you're overtaking people you'll see them being overtaken and you'll see them behind you which is pretty cool or you can see like what happens it's quite handy as well like i have like three monitors so i have this when i'm streaming and i can don't have to have the camera on like for instance when i'm in third person i don't have to have the camera on because i can use obs as a camera too because you can just have these views and you can see everywhere around your car it's really handy it's really simple to install really easy to use if you guys need any help drop down in the comments below it's quite easy to use but i thought i'd show you this because it's really handy to use in clips and yeah everything else thank you for watching i'll catch you on the next one peace out bye